All right, good morning, guys. 6.44 in the morning. Day three on the Appalachian Trail. Um, just came down to Unicoi Gap, almost at the road. It is 18 mile, 52.5. So, um, people go into Hiawassee from this road. We're gonna go over Trey, and then we're gonna go into Hiawassee. So, we got a little bit of a little bit of hiking to do, which is good because it's looking beautiful out right now. Uh, first one's out of camp, feeling a little stiff in the morning, um, but you know once I started moving, started feeling a little better. And uh, yeah, there's Julia ahead of me. She's been uh, eating all the short cow webs, and I've been eating all the taller cow webs. Nobody on probably you know the first one's on trail, so. Yeah, I'll just see what kind of views we can get today and uh, hope everyone's having a great day. I will see you guys down the trail. All right, Julie. Speaking of cooler eyes, there's a cooler. No way. It's probably a water cat. Right there. It's probably a water cat. That'd be good though. I'll take it. I hope it's a water cat. I got those cooler eyes. Let's get that water or whatever it is. Nice. All right, Julie's trying to beat me to the cooler. <laughs> yeah, you got it. Just an empty cooler. Let's go. About three miles done, Julie, to our first water. How's the water? Oh my God, I feel so good. I love it. He climbed cathedral mountains. He saw silver clouds below. He saw everything as far as you can see. All right, guys, Rocky Mountain, elevation 3992, 80 mile 53.9. And if anybody knows what that line was from the song I was singing, uh, go ahead and write it down below. Yeah, Rocky Mountain. Woo! Can't see much. But, wow, there's camping up top. Cool. Indian Grave Gap. <laughs> a guy up there was saying, I don't think they should be naming Indian Grave, uh, uh, having naming gaps as uh, Indian Grave Gap. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I agree. <laughs> I would not want to camp here. Or if you're night hiking here down here, it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. But they had these names for a long time, I guess. So it's looking beautiful down here. Yeah. It's nice having the trail all to yourself. These are like the first people we saw that were out of there. Uh, you know, we're out hiking. They drove up here on some like side road. But uh, everyone else we passed, we passed a lot of tents. Um, so they're still hitting that snooze button.
in 2019. This is where I stopped for my break. Okay. Julie caught up to me. All right, here's the famous Cheesecake Factory. I guess they had a Cheesecake Factory here. I'm not 100% sure, but I know there's like a road over there. There's a water area there, but yeah, there is a white blaze right there. All right, everybody, check out this campsite and check out this view. Wow, so, so nice. Right. Thank you. All right, guys, descending off of uh, the tippy top of Trey. So we're going to get some more views here, and then we're going to probably get that really good view from the shelter, too. Um, maybe take a little break, a little lunch break there. All right, we got some views at the top of uh, Trey Mountain Shelter. All right, there's the view of the shelter. I don't think we're gonna go over there. Um, Julie's still got some pizza that she has. We're probably gonna finish that, eat a little bit, and then we're gonna book it towards Hiawassee. How's it going, Julie? Good. That's good. Yeah. We got a hydrate in point four. We got steel trap gap, and there's a water source right okay. there. So we're gonna take the point one down, uh, drink up, cause it's hot. We're sweating. Uh, whew. All right, what's going on guys? So just came back from the water source and uh, there was a guy doing a section. He's going up to Fontana Dam. So uh, he was sitting there and he's like, the water source is steep and way down. And he wasn't going to get water. So I'm like, all right, I'm going down there anyway. Uh, so I got him three liters. I got Julia a liter. And I ran the downhill. It was pretty easy. But coming up in the heat, man, was that harsh. But, yeah, we are just hiking along, just trying to get to Hiawassee as fast as we can. But it is hot out here. The sun is out. And, uh, yeah, we're trying to stay hydrated. There's Julie right there. What's up, Julie? You enjoying your water that I got you? Thank you. You're welcome. All right, guys, swag of the Blue Ridge. That's a beautiful new sign. Pretty cool. All right, guys, so those uh, vehicles right there, that was, um, that's a fire and uh, rescue like a rescue um and somebody i guess got bit by a snake so i'm not sure exactly what's going on but you gotta we gotta keep our eyes out on the ground because i think there's a lot of snakes out today so um i think huh don't hike, don't hike up on you yeah don't be hiking up ahead if there's snakes and shit right well i'm going in front so i'll be making noise but yeah so there's atvs on trail and uh they're gonna be, I guess, rescuing somebody. That's crazy. So this is all signs where the ATV was driving through. There's loose rocks and, you know, this rock is loose. That one's like dug out. And uh, their other tire must have been going right there to get through. Um, they said it happened like about two miles away from we, where we were, so somewhere at the bottom of the mountain maybe but we'll see um right now i'm just seeing all these atv tracks um where they had to ride to do this rescue but i just passed a couple people and uh i don't see anybody in front of me so i'm just hiking extra careful um but it is scary it looks like somebody's getting rescued off the mountain right now wow all right, check out this view from Kelly Knob, elevation 4,144. Woo! And it was, it was a tough climb up here. 
Um, I'm pretty low on water, so I got to get water at the next water source. But yeah, these views are absolutely gorgeous. The blue mountains with the light blue. Man, that's nice. Whew. How do you get oh, okay. We just go around them. Oh, okay. Alright guys, these are the ATVs and they put this probably as far as they could go or maybe they went to save the person or whatever. But we're going to go around them here. Okay, yeah. Okay. So. That's crazy. Like you got to have some legit ATVs to be able to drive up here. Drive so, up here. yeah. Like it's legit off-road ATVs. Like, Polaris with the knobby tires. Yeah, that's 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 as far as they could go. That's crazy, man. I hope they get them. Yeah. Like, rattlesnake bite. That's legit. I think this tree and this little ravine, and they just saw that it was gonna be too messy to get down here. They were probably close enough at yeah. that point, so they went ahead and uh, um, just uh, walked over there, and they're probably carrying the person to wherever they need to, or they're rescuing them right now. But it's crazy. Okay, go yeah, there's going to be a helicopter flyby soon. This gentleman got hit by a rattlesnake. Oh. Yeah. Should we go through? Are we able to go through? Uh, yeah. yeah. Just, just ask him when you go down. Oh, people okay. haven't gone around. Just back around. Oh, okay. Okay, I'll ask him. Should we wait? Well, I'll ask him if anything will bush back. Let's hope they can get a helicopter in there. Oh, well, we can ask. You can ask. I don't want to ask. Is it okay for us to go around, or should we bushwhack? Yeah, come Just come down here, oh, Okay. Sorry. Sorry. We'll catch you if you foul. Oh, okay. Thank I'll, you. I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. No problem. <laughs> Hello. Oh, that's scary. Hopefully they get a helicopter in here. Yeah, well they just cleared us off foot. Oh thank God. Oh god.
He's right there. He's right there. He's gonna try to come down now. Huh? They won't make it. It's no, no, they gotta land that helicopter here. They're, they're gonna have to land the hair. It's too long of a walk. No, they'll be able to land it here. They're waving the stuff. They're showing. He's finally just going for it. guys so that was pretty scary they we had to walk through a clearing i filmed like a little bit and uh it was just scary to walk through it through there the guy was sitting on the ground and they were propping him up so he would sit down maybe so the poison doesn't enter like um and his upper torso i guess but they were like seating him up and then they had a stretcher ready and the chopper just kept flying and flying and flying like circling because you can't get too close and some of the people like they were standing there. They were chop they had to chop down trees to get it ready. Um, so that's pretty crazy. The chopper just flew away. So I'm hoping uh, that they uh, they got him because they had a good clearing there, um, and the ATVs were basically like stuck in that area. It was crazy to see. Um, I know this kind of stuff happens, but like just to see it happen like in front of you, um, it's a little scary, and it's just like you really crazy i hope that guy is all right because um you know it's uh we're out here in the wild you know this is the this is our happy place. yeah this is our happy place and you know it looked like he was like a section hiker or maybe somebody through hiking and man that's just very scary snakes are we just met someone that got bit by a rat and now a snake yep yeah. uh deep gap we got to get water we're both out of water at this point and uh yeah, so I got an aqua up. All right, guys, much needed water break. There's the spring. And man, the chopper is back. I hear it again. Alright guys, 3.30 p.m. We got two miles to uh, Dick's Creek Gap. And then I think we're going to try to hitch into uh, Hiawassee. We booked the Holiday Inn, so whew, looking forward to that. We earned our Holiday We earned it. It was a tough day, yeah. It was a tough day. There was a lot of uh, climbing, a lot of rocks. A rattlesnake incident with a guy in front of us. Ice cream or yeah. something after that to cheer me up. So we'll do yeah. we'll do a nice relaxing, you know, evening. Alright guys, got to Dick's Creek Gap at 428 p.m. Heading into Hiawassee. 
AT, Dick's Creek Gap, and uh, just waiting for our ride now. Solid day. Uh, yeah, packed with cars here. Busy, 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 but good to see hikers out and hiking. All right, guys, just got to the Holiday Inn in style. Check this out. It's a Cadillac limo shuttle service, so give them a call if you need it. Super cool. What's going on guys? Here's our room. Quick little view. Got a free coffee. Part of our resupply to Franklin. Got the coffees, a little bit of everything here that will keep us going. The Cheetos are a must. We got the meals and the breakfast essentials. And let's do our end of day recap right here. So we started at Appalachian Trail mile 50.1 Blue Mountain Shelter. Beautiful campsite really nice people camping there they invited us to a fire they were doing around the shelter but we were just too tired uh really great campsite there with some nice views i mean it's overgrown but you could still see like the sun you know the sun setting and everything we had a downhill that was not easy another brutal climb and then a tough climb up to trey where i thought the day was going to get easier but it was a lot of rolling hills here and then this one up here up to kelly knob that's where right after that is where the incident happened with the young man getting bitten by a um what was it julie a, rat, a rattlesnake yeah and so we just hung out with rick he actually filmed the whole thing he's got the footage on his phone they airlifted him out he said the rattlesnake bite was two inches or more so the head must have been a really really decent sized it was a big rattlesnake and what happened was as far as uh rick knows um rick is another friend of ours that he's doing a section that we were hiking with we just had dinner with him but uh rick said what happened was he was bushwhacking to the top of the mountain somewhere around um somewhere around uh kelly knob there's i guess a peak there or something and he was bushwhacking to the peak and uh i guess he stumbled upon the rattlesnake and he wasn't wearing any kind of protection or whatever he was just wearing shorts and regular sneakers and it just got him on his leg so they had to make a clearing cut down trees the helicopter uh airlifted him out so that's a good thing but yeah pretty crazy pretty crazy right there um and then we had that descent down which was definitely beat my feet up that's why i got the epsoms right here and we made it all the way down to dicks creek gap mile 69.2 make elevation. making this a 19.1 mile day everybody so julie's got her little uh phone there 5229 that's the third highest elevation we've had right now right they're yeah, all been still in less miles less miles yeah so that's why so the day was so day, brutal yeah it was just one right after the other yeah of of long climb. okay that's why i mean i i'm tired i'm really am tired and uh yeah we earned every single one of those miles <laughs> yeah, we but yeah we really did julie was good How julie was pacing me uh, the app is weird julie but here's our little view from the hotel got uh, like a car hauler truck there got some car backing in here but yeah all right we're going to ingles i guess to get a little a few more snacks to add Yeah. Oil. Right? That's what you want? Yep. You said four, right? Yep. 